Hello, I'm Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and I have another really good question today. And uh, this is from uh, Jonathan Barr. It says, uh, what keeps you motivated to create content, uh, online business, and insight into trends in these markets? Well, so this one is going to be, golly, uh, kind of in depth. And I have some tools that I use. And uh, so I'll talk a little bit first about my motivation. My motivation for creating things is for people to admire them. And uh, if I could get paid in admiration alone and not need any money, it would work out well for me. But the fact is, is that you can't live off of that, that you have to uh, actually earn an income. And so uh, hence, instead of being an artist, I become an entrepreneur. And uh, so, because I'm not a good enough artist to like sell my art or anything like that, and I'm not talking about art in the fact of like that I'm going to go out and paint things because that's not me, but I am very creative. Uh, I, a couple of years ago, maybe about five years ago, I uh, flew to Chicago and went to a company called Solution People. And a good buddy of mine, Tim, he suggested that we go out there and we take this class called the no-brainer and that it was an innovation class and would help us with innovating for new ideas and new products for our companies. And uh, I thought this found it and sounded pretty exciting. What I learned out there was that there's a tool called the no-brainer, which I'll put a link to in the description here. And, and I'm going to show it to you too. There's a tool here that is um, that helps you uh, when you come up with new ideas to validate them and to make sure that the idea that you have can come to fruition. Um, and the whole that, that it can work on all kinds of things. Uh, it can work on an idea of let's say a lemonade stand all the way to an idea of a, um, you know, big business, like, you know, Ford Motor Company wants to come out with a new line of cars, you could use this, uh, you know, or even you could apply it to relationships. And uh, anything where innovation and thinking outside of the box and then uh, evaluating things will come in handy. So let me show you this tool here, but first, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur, got to earn some money. Let me give a code away. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting paid, by the way, to give these codes away. I am, uh, in fact, uh, not making anything on this, but uh, on, on this code here. This is for Blackshot Europe, and it is um, a free code that can be used in the game to uh, get a US Marines package and uh, it's worth about 20 euros. And uh, if you like the game, or if you're interested, just check it out. I'll put a link to that as well in the description. Um, I'll put the link to Blackshot Europe first and the link to uh, No Brainer Second. Hmm. Or maybe the other way around, we'll see. And um, so Blackshot's a great first person shooter game and they've been nice enough to give me all of these codes to give out to you guys. So uh, if you're interested in first person shooters at all, click the link. Go make an account. It's a free to play game and try it out. So I want to show you here my no brainer. Now this, uh, there's a bunch of tape on the outside and stuff. This is how much I've used it. And um, it is a tool here that um, is, it's broken into four parts. Uh, to where you investigate, to where you create, to where you evaluate, and then you take action. And if you make it all the way to the action stage, you've got a product. Uh, typically, things fizzle out in the evaluation stage. And uh, so this is something that I have on many projects. Um, many of the, uh, the sites that I've built or the new businesses uh, that uh, we've done or even getting into new markets, we've run it through this. So let's... Uh, uh, I, I don't have time in this video to actually go through the process and to show you how exactly this works. But I'm going to show you a couple of things. And I'm just going to use an example of a lemonade stand. And so here we have 
uh, first card. It's investigate and needs is what it lists here. Uh, so, you know, we're to review our overall goal, uh, challenge or problem. Begin investigating uh, needs by brainstorming associations between your goal and the following cards. Now, uh, our goal right here is to open up a lemonade stand. And uh, so, and, and I guess to, um, you know, sell some lemonade. Um, so these questions may seem very simple, but what you do is you write these down. And um, so it's, uh, what is your goal, challenge, or problem? And the, um, so our goal is to create a lemonade stand that is going to earn us more than it costs to produce the lemonade. How does that sound? That'd be profit. Um, who are your customers or audiences? Well, I think that in a lemonade stand, the customers are gonna be passers-by. Um, and that may give you an indication to something else that's going to be important, location. Uh, I've done this enough times that I can almost do this in my head now. And a very valuable tool because I'm able to analyze really quickly whether or not a um, an idea is something that I should even bring up and, and spend any time on. And so let, I'm going to skip ahead, you know, here a little bit. What should people do? Well, not every question applies to everything. And what should people do? They should, um, they should buy our lemonade, I guess. Um, and uh, how should success look, feel, and sound? So... To me, it should look like people always there to buy lemonade, that there's always a line. Uh, it should feel, um, maybe the first thing that comes to my mind is it should feel that the, that the business is trusted, uh, trustworthy, and that people are getting a good value for their money. Um, and uh, nobody should feel uh, gypped um, or you know, uh, taken advantage of with buying their lemonade? And how should it sound? I always like this one, because it should sound like cha-ching. <laughs> so, you, you come up with all these things in the innovation stage, and uh, it, even, it even gives you some other stuff, like gives you some pictures here and everything, and these pictures, you actually write down what you think of when you see the picture. Um, and, okay, so, prioritize the top needs before continuing to step two which is create. So you take two or three of the top things, you boil everything you've written down into two or three things that are absolutely necessary, and um, then you carry those over into create. And you really don't want to carry over very many. In fact, you might even boil it down to just two. And uh, because with creative, you're going to go all kinds of directions from there. And it can get overwhelming. If you had like 10 ideas, oh my. It could, it could really get overwhelming for you and take you a very, very long time to get through your uh, project. So uh, in Create, it says, review your overall goal, challenge, or problem. Begin creating ideas to address the top needs prioritized from step one. So what might be changed or improved? And uh, so, okay, so you have this vision for the lemonade stand. And what could we do different? What could we improve on? You know, maybe, um, okay, so an improvement from a normal lemonade stand would be that we accepted credit cards. You know, most kids don't have that ability. We could do that. And so that could be an improvement. And so that maybe that's what I would write down. Um, some other things might be is that we could, um, you know, depending on where you're at, if it rains a lot, Maybe you would want to have some sort of cover over the front so that people could enjoy their lemonade without getting rained on. Um, so those are the type of, of things. Um, what, uh, what might be fun, humorous, or crazy ideas? This is one of my favorite questions because it really allows you to think outside the box. And so, you know, you could, you could say things, okay, we want... Um, we want to have something really crazy, you know, delivering the lemonade, whatnot. Uh, you know, what if we had, you know, people on roller skates? You know, I know they do that and everything else, but, you know, they go out to their cars. They don't even have to get out of their cars and they can get the lemonade. Or what if we, um, you know, did fireworks every Friday night and everybody who bought lemonade could enjoy them? 
you know, something like that. You could think really outside of the box and about things that really a normal business person would think is kind of crazy, but this is not what we're doing here. We're not, we're not building a boring business. We're building something that's exciting, something that's new, something that is um, going to, um, you know, going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, and that's, that's part of, did you know that fun is one of the essential things for any new business? You know, how many businesses that you go into do you think are not fun at all? And what if you could add some fun to that? Think about going to your bank and uh, I don't have fun when I'm waiting there in line, but what if they could do something to the bank to make it more fun to go into the bank? And uh, would it be a better experience? Would you remember it more? Would you do most of your banking there if you had multiple banks? I mean, just think about that. Um, so in the creative stage, you know, it, it's got, you know, these words and everything. And you go through all this and then you got to take it to the next step. Now, the next step is one I have the most trouble with because I'm not a good evaluator. But with the help of this, you know, it's, and it's evaluating your solutions. With the help of this, I can... Um, I can get through it. And, you know, so um, this has questions like, what could be the potential investments? Now, in a lemonade stand, I know that I just have to, you know, maybe build a structure and, and uh, we've got to buy the lemonade and then we've got to hire people or I've got to do all the work myself. And so it gets you thinking on what all is going to be necessary to actually open this. And, um, you know, what could be the full potential ROI, return on investment? Well, that really gets you thinking, how much money can you really make with lemonade? You know, how, how can you do that? And, you know, is this a good idea? Can I actually make enough money um, with lemonade to, to actually, I don't know, make a living? You know, will I become rich off of that? Um, let's see here. And what could be the potential risks, costs, or consequences of not implementing solutions? So, I'm not sure I understand that question. But, let's see, how can we apply that to Lemonade? Uh, potential risks are that uh, we could uh, open up in Oregon and it rains 300 days that year. That's happened before. Uh, more rain, less people buying Lemonade. Um, let's see, the consequences of not implementing solutions. So some of the other solutions that we talked about or some of the other things which could have been a solution is like the, the canopy over the top and, you know, to help keep the rain away. Well, what would happen if we didn't do that? And so if we didn't do that, then maybe we only open on sunny days. Uh, and, you know, then that creates another thing, you know, what's, what's another uh, consequence of not doing that is that will there be enough sunny days to actually make a living? Once you uh, get through the evaluation stage, if you make it that far, you may realize that you don't have a good idea here and that it cannot be completed. Uh, and you may uh, realize that you now have a full plan, you have a great product and this is gonna work. You have all the tools in place, or you know exactly what is necessary to put in place to be able to do this. And uh, that's where action comes in. So the action section is um, really about uh, what is it gonna take to implement all of this to get you up and running? And uh, so, you know, what are potential obstacles or challenges and how must they be overcome? Um, so, potential obstacles or challenges. One is if we build a structure, we might need a building permit. Uh, you know, and um, so to overcome that, someone has got to go down and find out first whether or not a building permit is required. And if so, then we have to file for that. And uh, so that's how you would overcome that. Um, you know, how must people be recognized or rewarded? Now that's a really interesting question because um, I think that, that the first thing that comes to my mind is staff. And you know they're going to be rewarded by being paid, but uh, money isn't everything. They also need to be recognized for their efforts. And there'll be people who will help you along this journey that need to be recognized that won't get anything at all. You know, mom or dad you know, might uh, just give you advice 
or uh, a business mentor who doesn't ask for anything in return. They're just sharing. Um, you know, they all need to be recognized and at the very least. And um, that's something that is um, good to not lose sight of. And, and it's good to build that into your plan because uh, when you're up and successful, you know, it's good to share that success, even if that's just saying, thank you, look what you helped create. You know, a simple thank you card would, be, would go a long way. Um, so you get all the way to the end and then you um, go forth and take action. You know, go forth and build it now. And um, so let's say that, that you've, you know, you've got, you're just about open and something happens. Let's say, I don't know, let's say that you're, um, golly, let's say that you get really sick and, um, and you're not able to carry out the last steps yourself. You can actually use the no-brainer again to work on a solution of how to find the right person to fill that role and make it all work. And uh, there could be other solutions there too. You know, what happens if, uh, you know, what happens if uh, neighbors in the neighborhood don't like uh, this lemonade stand you're putting up and they're out there picketing? You know, you could come up with some really creative solutions on this and uh, on how to work with that. And this will not only help you to work on a solution. I mean, you could say, screw you guys, I'm gonna do this anyway. Or you could use a solution to say, how can I turn this around so it can also benefit the community, so that the community is involved, so that the community also benefits from this lemonade stand being here. And um, you can work through their objections and concerns that way. Um, so I use this tool all the time, and uh, I wholeheartedly recommend it uh, that if you are, uh, even if you're not an entrepreneur, this might be able to turn you into one, now that I think about that. You know, because um, there's been many times where I've learned stuff through this tool, and uh, people go, wow, you're just brilliant. Well, um, I have... Uh, I tell them that I have good tools or I don't say anything at all. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice to be recognized that way. And it is uh, really, you know, a mechanic can't fix your car without tools. But um, when they have the right tools, they're a wizard. You know, they're, they're really good at what they do. So this is a business tool. And uh, I, I don't remember how much it costs. Um, I think it's not very expensive for just this uh, no-brainer tool. Hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks, very well spent. You may think hundred bucks for a deck of card? You're crazy. Well, no, it's not crazy at all because this will save you a hundred bucks in the very first project that you do. And uh, the training was a lot more, uh, quite a bit more. And uh, the training was good. It was good. There was a two-day class to go through this whole thing, and it uh, uh, it'd be a big kickstart in in how to use it. Uh, but I can say that you could probably use this all on your own too. I'd give it a try, and uh, so I'll put a link to this. Check it out, and uh, I tell you what: those of you who have some ideas uh, for business that, uh, or actually, let's just say you have an idea at all and you don't know how to get it done. Uh, it doesn't have to be about business. It can be uh, about some other things. Um, let's, let's get your ideas on what you would like covered. Give me a detailed description. And I will choose one or two of these. And I will go through this in a light fashion uh, with your idea. Now, you have to be willing to have it on camera. So uh, if it's something that's done local, um, you won't have competition sprouting up around you. If it's something that is this fantastic new website that's going to provide everybody in the entire world everything they need, um, then maybe you should just keep quiet and come up with another idea <laughs> uh, because we don't want to expose that one out to everybody. And I want to take a real idea though, other than just a lemonade stand, and see where we can get with it. So uh, go ahead and write me through YouTube and uh, I will evaluate those. I will take 
one, possibly two of those. It's a lot of work and th then the video will end up being uh, probably broken into parts. And uh, so it could be something as little as, you know, 30 minutes going through this, depending on what it is. Or uh, we could end up with like 10 hours of video. Boy, I'm popular. Someone keeps texting me. Uh, so, you know, send me your ideas. And uh, if you are selected, I will let you know. I will contact you back telling you such because we're going to need to talk on the phone and uh, I'm going to have some questions for you and um, we'll take it from there and I'll show you how valuable this tool really is. I'm Marky Dragon. Take care. You should subscribe to his channel because he's going to give away this sword. So tell me if you won this sword, what would you do with it? Oh my goodness. I would be in seventh heaven to begin with. Then I think I would pick a place in my house that was probably where everyone would see it and hang it on the wall. Wow, this is how much you love the game? I love it. <laughs> I love it more than any other game. Do you know what game we're talking about? Uh, <laughs> well, I can pretend, can I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody, Everybody, subscribe. just look at this. Yes, subscribe. Yep. And you may be the winner of this beautiful sword. Check it out. Thank you, Linda. Okay.